The overwhelming perception of the community is that there is a system. And you sort of say to them, where? And they can't tell you. And of course, the reason they can't tell you is because it doesn't exist. So there is a complete uh, lack of appreciation of um, how uh, inadequate the support structures are in this area. And, um, and I think, you know, there's no doubt that there are two things that characterise every person I've ever encountered who's directly involved in the disability sector. The first is that they never expected it would happen to me or the person they know with a disability. It never crossed their mind. So we're all very short-sighted. And so that's why universal insurance is needed rather than relying on individuals to insure. And in fact, you can't even buy the product. Um, but um, but the, the other is that when people discovered that they had a disability or that someone they knew had a disability, the support structures that they thought were there are not there and the little bits that are there are only accessible through this most extraordinary maze, you know, as you sort of find out about little bits and pieces, often by word of mouth. And so I think, again, one of the great benefits that come from will come from the NDIS is that information would become readily available and 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 so all this effort that's wasted you know both in terms of just straight time but also the emotional energy that's wasted because people can't find what they need um, those costs would decline and that would be that would be part of um, part of the efficiency gains that would would arise from this system I think the Absence of information is in fact quite deliberate.